All right, guys, this is another video I'm putting out tonight. This is going to be a video on I had a subscriber ask how to best sex a ball python, or maybe it was just a snake, but we're going to do ball pythons, obviously, because that's what I've got right now. So the best way to do it is when they're younger. And you'll do that. Let me get this in focus first. There we go. So what I'm holding right here is just a normal ball python. This is head albino. Hey, look at this. I didn't talk about this in my video on the um, head albinos. But look at the bellies on that. That's cool. wonder if that has to do with being head albino or not. I'm not sure. But getting off track. So to sex, to pop a little baby is the easiest. You can do it with the bigger ones. But, um... So for someone just starting out, you'll want to start with a baby. You must be very gentle because it's very easy to do when they're young like this. Okay? And what you're looking for is on a male, you're going to see hemipenes come out. So that's two. Two little like knobs coming out like that. And that's the hemipenes. They're going to come out like that. And they should be usually red tipped. So this, I've already done this, so I know this is a male. Hold on, guys. And as you see, come on, focus. Hold on, let me get it in better focus so that you guys can see. There we go. Alright. I'm bugging the snake. I feel bad because he was just born today. So you guys oh, had it all go wrong. Okay, see that, guys? Those are hemipenes. And all I did was pull back, apply a little bit of pressure, and they pop out. But you don't want to go too hard because you don't want to hurt the snake. So that's a little boy. Uh, hold on. And let me show you a girl. Sorry, it's out of focus. There we go. It's a bumblebee. Now you're going to do this to the female. And you're going to notice that nothing, you're not going to see anything. Let me get it right there. Uh, where's the focus? There's the focus. And I'm pushing, guys. No hemipenes. You pull back on the... Um... Yeah, these guys do not like this. Pull back a little bit on the cloaca and a little bit of pressure. Nothing's coming out. And on the male, you will see the two hemipenes. Cool little tracks on that guy. See that, guys? Perfect. Now I know for sure that's a male and that is a female. Get back into focus. And okay, oh, off topic, hold on. Now check this out. This is for whoever watched my last video of the um, update on these new babies. And I forgot to talk about this. But these are all head albino and I, obviously I said that. But look at this. Look at the tracks on the belly. Kind of like a het pied. I wonder if the het albino does that. If you guys know, down in the comments, let me know if you've seen that on anything that's het albino. But this is a pastel het albino. This is the male. Real, real pretty. I think I'm going to have everything for sale this year. Except for maybe the bumblebee female. But yeah, as of right now, nothing is for sale. I've gotten a lot of comments saying, Hey, let me know when you have something. I will let you guys know. I will make a video on what's for sale and when they're ready. Nothing is eaten. And with the, the three bumblebees that came out smaller, I want to make sure that they're eating good and they've caught up in size because they're just tiny. That's a nice pastel. And I'm not saying it's because of the albino, but I don't know. Maybe I am saying that. <laughs> but it's just a good looking pastel. 
kind of reduced in the back too. That's cool. All right, guys, I'm going to cut this short. See you.